students welcome today we are taking a very interesting topic chapter 1 of the stars it's titled the third level written by jan finney it tells about interweaving of fantasy and reality we are made aware of whether it is a fantasy or reality we will find it out how charlie it's a sto uh, story narrated by charlie he is 31 years old he says that he has seen third level at the grand central station of new york but the railways swear on stack of time tables that there are only there were only two levels there was there was no third level so he says that to be to make matters more clear he consulted a psychiatrist and told him all those about the third level the psychiatrist said it is a waking dream wish fulfillment what is it that he is not happy charlie is not happy he wants to escape from all the stresses and strains of life worries wars fear all those things the rest of it he was an escapist he said he he wanted to escape into the world of dreams and fantasy so he said that he was an escapist charlie says that it's quite natural that people uh, um, people are uh, people do dream and uh, they uh, uh, they find out some uh, niches or some corners uh, where to find peace one he says that one night last summer what happened he recounts uh, an incident that he was late for home he had worked very late in the office and uh, he wanted to take the train for the subway from the central uh, grand central uh, railway station of new york as the train ran fast so what is that he went to the first level went down the first level of uh, grand central railway station and then for uh, taking the train to uh, to subway from there he took uh, stair uh, for the second level now while he was crossing the corridors in the archways arcades he got lost and uh, found himself on a place he had never seen it before he said he describes it that there were small rooms a uh, few ticket windows open flame gas lights the flickering lights were flickering and brass spittoons they were 
lying on the floor, men with beards and moustaches, a variety of um, uh, moustaches were there, he had never seen them before. Old locomotives were also there. And uh, yes, what he says that when he went past a newspaper boy, where a stack of newspapers were lying there, he saw a news of President Cleveland and the uh, and the word the 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 word uh, publication which has stopped uh, publication for the last many years uh, the date printed on there was June 11, 1894. <laughs> so. He was sure that he he was in uh, he had gone back in time and space, and uh, therefore he could go to his favorite place, Gelsberg, where where he said that there was all peace all around. He had been there uh, when his grandpa was there, granddad, and. Uh, there were no worries at all. He would uh, he would wander uh, very leisurely there. So he um, planned to go to Galesburg, Illinois, and he uh, went to the ticket counter and wanted two tickets to Galesburg, Illinois. The clerk there behind the window, he figured the fear and uh, Charlie had enough money for uh, one way uh, to pay. He count, he began, he, he took out his purse and began counting the money. While he was counting, he saw that the clerk was staring at him and he warned him. What he said? That isn't money, mister. And if you try to cheat him, he warned him. If you try to cheat him, then he, won't, he can't go very far. He will be arrested. So Charlie, uh, hearing that, uh, what he said, he turned away and got out fast. As fast as he could. But, he didn't leave that thing at that point of time. He, next day, he went to the coin uh, dealer, you know, who deals in old coins also. He went to that shop, bought old style notes in exchange for $300 and um, because old notes, old style notes were at a premium, uh, so uh, in exchange of it he got less than 200. Hmm? But he had, he could never again find the third level. He tried again and again, he went again and again, but he could never find it. Then he told all these things uh, to his wife, Louisa, who felt very worried and told him not to explore third level again. So he decided to uh, do something else. Uh, he began to fuss with the stamp collection. He had, uh, his grandfather had been doing that. Uh, and uh, while going through the, the, that collection, he found an envelope which was addressed to his grandfather, uh, uh, grandfather's address at Galesburg. And uh, on opening the envelope, he found that it was 
dated July 18, 1894, bore the 6-cent stamp and bore the, uh, bore the President Garfield's uh, picture on it. And the, when op uh, after opening the letter, uh, the envelope, he f read out the letter. It was signed by Sam and addressed to Charlie, where he had said that uh, Charlie, I had found on the third level. It's worth it to explore it, and uh, you and Louisa must also go on finding it. And one day you will find it. Uh, Charlie says, now he recollects that the coins dealer had told him that Sam had exchanged new currency, uh, no, present currency, with the old notes worth 800. And he had disappeared for a few days. So Charlie says, who was Sam? He was his psychiatrist. So this is the story. Uh, as I have already said that it's a interweaving of fantasy and reality and now we will uh, find out the difficult words and their meanings so that our reading is uh, becomes smooth okay Now the words that are coming in this lesson are swear means take an oath. The railway authorities swore on stack of timetables that there were only two levels. Stack. Stack means heap. Stack. Hmm? Obvious. Clear. When I was claiming that Charles says, I was claiming that there is a third level. So and the people are not, um, uh, people don't believe me. So I had uh, uh, the only recourse uh, left is to consult a psychiatrist. That was obvious. Eh? It was very obvious, very clear that I should consult a doctor. Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist is a doctor trained in mental illness. Psychiatrist is P-psychiatrist. P psychiatrist. Waking dream. And uh, the doctor analyzed my disease as daydream while awake. It was, I was daydreaming while I was, while, while I was awake. Well, and wish is desire, wish fulfillment, the feeling of being satisfied. While I was daydreaming, I was wishing that my dreams are being fulfilled. Escape, an act of getting away. So, the doctor said that I was an escapist. I escaped from the realities of this world is there is too much uh, 
what, what we call fear, worries, war. Right? So many things are there, and a person is not ready cope, to cope with it. He he escapes into a world of dreams and fantasies. So he is an escapist, an actor getting away. Wander means walk aimlessly. When you wander into something right? aimlessly, claimed to state that it is true, even if not proved. Though it has not been proved, we I say that it is true. I don't I, I don't prove it. That means I am claiming that it is true. Refuge means shelter. I am taking refuge um, from reality. Right? I am taking a temporary refuge by uh, this uh, by consulting the stamps, the stamp collection, right? while going through the stamp collection. Then, pretty means enough, quite, and subway is an underground passage. Wherever sub comes, it means underground, under, subway, right? underground passage. Tan means brown, it's a color, with tan means color. Straw means dry stem of wheat. He saw, while uh, he found himself in, on the third floor, the third level, he saw uh, all these things, tiny rooms were there, uh, information center was made of wood and it was old style. Yeah? All these things were there. Uh, straw was there, dry stem of wheat and okay. avenue means street in a town. So he said that uh, uh, while on the second floor he had sometime, sometimes wandered into um, and uh, he would uh, end up uh, going to some office. Hmm? That way, uh, there were so many uh, passages were there that he, uh, he he wandered away in some avenue or the other hmm? street or in a town. He would uh, on the exit when there was a, an exit to the grand uh, railway station. Mm -hmm. He would find that there is a street, avenue is there. Light, a set of stairs between two floors. One level is there, and to reach the other level, what I do? I take steps. Those set of stairs, this is known as stair, this flight. But, bent down suddenly, uh, he, uh, there was an arcade. This was an arch. Uh, with a curved structure above the door. So he would go down and bumping means bouncing, tunnel, underground passage, probably, perhaps, slanting means sloping, empty means hollow, it doesn't, have, it doesn't contain anything, roar means loud noise like a lion, flickering and glint, both have the same meaning, unsteady light. Snapped, broke with a jerk. So he, uh, the person there, uh, on the, uh, while he was at the third floor, he saw that a person had just snapped his uh, watch and uh, saw the time, glanced at it, looked quickly, and then frowned, made an angry expression. Uh, that was there. Tiny means, tiny means small, glimpse means usual look, tremendous, huge, quietly, silently, fair, the rate of ticket, figured, calculated, he figured the fair, cashier, he figured the fair, he calculated the fair, the rate of the ticket, staring, looking instantly, while uh, I was counting the money, he was staring at me. This isn't money, mister. Nodded means shook his head. Skin me, deceive me. 
He said, if, if you will skin me, you won't go very far. Now, you won't go very far means won't succeed. Premium means an additional amount other than the normal. When I exchanged my $300, uh, I got old notes, old style notes of uh, less than 200 I had to pay, pay a premium. Hmm? So, disappeared means went away, suspected means doubted, passing means too much importance to a small thing. That's there. Now we will find out that yes, uh, we will uh, uh, I have to share one This is very interesting. Uh, two, three lines are there. I just want to share it with you. But he says, sometimes I think Grand Central is growing like a tree, pushing out new corridors and staircases like roots. The Grand Railway uh, Station was like a root. And uh, it has, uh, it was branching out. Its roots were going down everywhere. Hmm? There is probably a long tunnel that nobody knows about, feeling its way under the city right now, on its way to Times Square, and maybe another to Central Park, and maybe because for so many people through the years, Grand Central has been an exit a way of escape. Maybe that's how the tunnel I got into. So, there were various tunnels, he says that there were so many tunnels that he want, uh, wandered into uh, some tunnel like that. But I never told my psychiatrist friend about that idea. So here it is. It's very interesting uh, to uh, read it. Now we will attempt uh, two, three questions and uh, find out the, which can fit in all other questions as well. What are they? If any of such type of question comes, is the third level a medium or a way of getting away from the unpleasant and insecure present, forgetting one's normal life? Is it a medium, medium where we can escape? Uh, do you think his being on the third level at the Grand Central Station was a waking dream, wish fulfillment? I mean, the theme is escapism, escapist policy. Third, the modern world is full of fear, insecurities, stress and wars. What are the ways in which we try to combat them? So, in all these three questions, we can, um, I'll give you a hint. Uh, you can develop on those hints and uh, we can The answer to all these questions will be that it's okay. There is no doubt that the modern world is full of fear, insecurities, stress and wars. There are times when it becomes difficult to come to terms with them. Unable to face them, we, try, we may try to escape from them and move into a world of dreams and fantasies. We may. We try. We may. We may try. Some may not. Hmm? But that's not a solution. It has been said over and over again that a coward dies many deaths before actually dying. Before actually dying, he dies many deaths. That psychology of fear is very complex. 
there is terror only in the fear of death. The will to live conquers all obstacles. It wins over all terrors and fears. So, whatever may be, there should be a will to live, a will to survive, and will, a will to conquer over the, those obstacles. There should be there. So, children, the main, uh, the, there are uh, other questions which, which are which will be from the text. You can uh, very well attempt them, but these are complex questions to uh, to which, if uh, you can understand this, you can apply uh, to those uh, questions while answering them. Okay, thank you.